out. Good morning. Can't decide if I should work out. No, I should probably work out right now. breakfast and everything wasn't really breakfast i'll be honest with you i had a pizza pop because it is in fact 1 p.m this is a productive but realistic day what can i say so i'm gonna work out now um lately i've been doing 12 3 30 because i don't really feel like running and stuff like that because i had a knee injury for a couple of months and i just kind of want to give my knee a break after all of my like school sports seasons and like pushing it a lot so it's definitely a little bit painful because walking for 30 minutes it can just be kind of tedious because like usually when i would go for runs there would only be like 10 to 15 minutes so although it's like higher intensity it's for a shorter time period so just like the drawn out amount of time that I'm walking for when doing 12 3 30 it is painful so I need a good playlist or else it just doesn't work and then I'm gonna do a Pilates workout because I've been trying some Pilates stuff I feel like my goals for like my body and like my health are constantly changing like in the winter time I really wanted to focus on like weightlifting doing like progressive overload and trying to get stronger and stuff like that but then I go through phases where I'm like no like I prefer to stay more lean I don't know if anybody can relate to this just like having your goals for your body kind of shifting constantly and not really knowing what you should do to be honest and so I feel like I'm just gonna kind of stick with exercise that like makes me feel the best so yeah kind of just doing whatever feels best for me so today that's gonna be Pilates and walking so let's find a workout outfit I feel like this is like the perfect little Pilates yoga outfit. It's now time for Pilates. I found this YouTube channel through TikTok of this woman who does Pilates videos and yoga videos and stuff, and they look pretty good. So I'm gonna give one of her videos a try. It's like a 20 minute ab and butt Pilates workout. <laughs> breakfast time and I'm eating a peanut butter bagel. So whenever it's sunny, which it actually hasn't been, it hasn't been that sunny here in Vancouver. When it is sunny, I like to come outside to eat my breakfast because in the morning, like during school mornings and stuff, I'm always sitting just like in my kitchen eating my breakfast and like it's like so depressing. I'm eating at like 7 a.m. and it's pitch black and I'm half asleep. So I like to come out here in the summer because it's just nice like spending the first part of my morning outside getting that fresh air and I usually try to like stay off my phone when I'm eating my breakfast outside even though I always catch myself going back on my phone. It's bad. I'm addicted. Not being on my phone just helps me be a little bit more like present i feel like that sounds really icky but like i mean it seriously i feel like when i'm on my phone i'm not really aware of like how i'm feeling emotionally how i'm feeling physically like how my body's feeling like i'm kind of moving through my day passively when i'm like on my phone the entire time in the morning i'm just trying to stay a little bit more grounded a little bit more yeah in the moment by just like sitting here and eating because usually when i'm eating i'm always like either watching something like watching a show because i'm watching the queen's gambit right now or re-watching and it's really good so <laughs> sometimes when i'm eating my dinner and stuff i'm watching that or I'll be like eating with a friend or eating with my family and like talking and eating and stuff Obviously, that's a good thing to be like eating with people and like talking and socializing But I rarely ever just sit in my lonesome and eat but I've got to appreciate my really nice deck um, Because I'm not gonna get this next year when I'm literally living in a college dorm. What am I saying next year? This isn't like a month friends and I are gonna be going to the beach now. Like I said, it's pretty sunny today, which has been not super common recently. So we're taking advantage of the weather. I need to bring a book. I was reading Bridgerton, but I finished it. I didn't order the second one yet. So I technically don't have a book to read right now. I guess I can just continue reading Twilight. Here she is.
Let's go grocery shopping. I'm literally scootering. My brother and I share our car and he's using the car right now. So I have to quickly go to the grocery store to get tomatoes, feta cheese, and bananas. My mom needs dinner ingredients. So let's just scooter there. It's super close to my house, so it shouldn't be too long of a ride. back from the grocery store I got everything that I needed for dinner so that was a successful trip but I wanted to talk to you guys about new as they are sponsoring this video so a big thank you to them so the scooter that I was using to go to the grocery store is the new KQI2 scooter and like I said I share my car with my brother he just came back from university so he's back for the summer and so there's a lot of like issues with you know who gets the car and whatnot so recently I've been able to use my new scooter outside because it's the summertime there are definitely a bunch of pros with using the scooter versus using a car I don't have to pay for parking I don't have to sit in traffic and the big one nowadays is that I get to save money on gas because gas is so expensive nowadays but I don't have that problem because everything is electric powered in the KQI2 that's just been super fun and super useful for going on um, little trips like that to the grocery store but you can actually do much longer trips with the scooter you can actually go up to 40 kilometers with just one charge of battery and as I'm sure you guys can assume, I'm very new to like electric scootering and stuff like that. But the scooter is definitely super beginner friendly, super user friendly. It was super easy to set up. It took like 10, 20 minutes to just latch things on and put a couple screws in. And then as for the actual scooter itself, the handlebars are super comfortable to hold. The little acceleration lever is super accessible, super easy to reach. Same with the handbrake and the electric brake at the back. And the deck at the bottom that you put your feet on is super wide. So that makes for a super comfortable ride as well. And you can also ride super easily at night because there's a pre-installed headlight and there's also a little bell that you can use if you're passing by people and there's also a new app that you connect to your scooter using bluetooth and your app will show you like how much battery your scooter has left how many more kilometers your scooter can go based off of the battery life that you have on your scooter at that time and this app also allows you to lock your scooters so, like when i went to the grocery store i was able to lock my scooter and that just gave me peace of mind so that no one will be able to steal it and ride away with it and if you look in the description box all the links to new and the scooter that i have will be down there so we're gonna be cleaning my room today it is really bad if you think your room is messy think again because my room is worse my room only gets to this point when i go out a lot so during the school year my room isn't that messy because i just only occupy my desk area but right now it's not looking the best because it's summertime i'm going out a lot with my friends and during grad season i was out like every single night when i get ready to go out i throw clothes around everywhere hence the huge piles of clothes on my bed and then i get home super late wake up do it all over again but today we break the cycle i also need to do some laundry let's just start pecking away here Music, so I'm gonna break this baby open. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Laundry has got to be my least favorite thing on the planet. I actually used to not mind it, and then I realized that it's just a cycle. Oh my god, that's a bug. Oh my god, oh my god, that is a bug. Oh my god. a little picnic table because I went to a coffee shop. This coffee shop I used to go to a lot in the summer and I really miss going here. Got a little mochi donut and birthday cake cold brew. She was expensive, so you know this is gonna be a one-time thing. I scooted here. I have these little like bikeway paths where you can walk and you can bike and skateboard and do whatever you want on them. So I just scooted down it. I'm gonna try this first actually. It's actually really good. I'm not really tasting any birthday cake. It kind of just tastes like the ice white mochas at Starbucks because there's like vanilla cream in here. And all the sprinkles just kind of sank to the bottom if you can see that. Glazed mochi donut. Hits every time. It's just so good. I never go out like this alone. Literally ever. Mm -hmm. 